where <laughs> wherein earth and heaven are joined in one. I'm glad you're here with me. What a particular time for you to decide in the advent of the possibility of a beginning of an alteration of the consciousness identity of yourself that you now hold as a picture of occurrences of light reflection in correspondence with what you presume is your human condition, the beginning episode that I'm sharing with you in this time and place as teachers of God are new references contained within your own mind of a manner in which you can predetermine, if you choose to, the result that you want to apply in the idea of the location where it's in which you now find yourself. Shall we look together at it just a moment? I'm looking. This is not where you're from. Say that. Yeah, you're not from here. Now, they call me the master teacher of A Course in Miracles as identified through the resurrection of a body form appearance, Jesus of Nazareth, who is contained in the entirety of a reference of his mind in a predetermination, as we expressed it, that you will increasingly become aware of an alternative contained within the fabrics of light association that now identify you, that there is in its entirety a place in space and time in which the entirety of the memory of who you are within that containment is contained. evidence of the light reflection of the memory of a new place in time that you just offered me just then become a very fundamental admission that as we look out into the universe with the billions of stars and energies a trillion times greater than this in fabrics of recognition of God we are somewhere aware within our individual mind identities that this little place in which we appear to be captive of ourself. And when you observe that association there, you observe that association there. That the observation of ourself in correspondence to what we believe we are in our body formulation is in truth not who we are at all. We are dim recognitions of ourself in moments in space and time where we felt a moment of self-identity other than the truth of what we are in a momentary decrease in the entirety of the power of light mind represented by the creator of reality, God. Okay, I'm going to be narrating to you now as a teacher of A Course in Miracles through the resurrection of Jesus. My certainty that we start our practice of admission that we're not from here by very simply saying we believe together that we are from a common source of reality in all of the universe. And that in all of the universe, in the expression of the narration of the decision factor that you have decided to share with me in a particular episode of suddenly, 
now I'm directly with you, finding yourself in this location, what happens? We begin to narrate to each other stories about the identities that we hold in the location in space-time that we appear to find ourselves. Here's the practice now with a correspondence of your capacity to change your mind. At any single moment in all of the universe, forever as it was created, there was a moment where you were distracted from the idea of the entirety of the light. Where did it occur? It occurred within your own conception of yourself. It had occurred in a moment of self-identity that cannot not be the entirety of a factor of recognition, though the particulars of your mind in the reflection of light that you are ordained to recognize the entirety of your momentary appearance here within space-time has been for that moment remained a memory of the solution that would be evident to you at any moment should you decide to apply it. The particulars of this teaching, once again, as a master teacher of correspondence, are simply get us and teach us to admit to each other that we are already in correspondence with ourselves. Andre. See the light factor now of reflections of light in which we're attempting to communicate with each other in the simple and obvious idea that the location of ourself in space-time, in dark energy formulation, contains a lot of uh, emotional involvement with loss and pain and loneliness and suffering that seem to constitute our ideas about ourself within this body form. Yet the idea that with us at any moment, in a continuing rebirth of ideas, let's use time for just a moment, of the non-sequentiality of definitions of myself in correspondent with my location, I am able on a continuing basis to assume within my own mind another identity of myself. Hmm? Will you share with me now the idea? Let's, let's try love for just a moment. If I center within my own mind the basic idea that I am undergoing continuing replications of myself within the idea of the reflection of light I'm getting by projecting the possibility within my own mind that I can gratify in all of space-time the retention of a duplicity of ideas about myself that find correspondence with activities within my own mind that appear to separate me from you, that appear to offer me another idea about myself that appears to justify within my conceptual identity the truth of what I think I am. And suddenly, in this mind-training process of alteration of consciousness, of objective projected association, comes a teacher. Now I'm going to use, with your permission, the idea of the resurrection of body form. That is, the truth of the matter that the illusionary nature of the universe will always show you in the dream factor of your own mind another manner in which you can discover another association of yourself that will present you with another justification for the ideas of what you want to be true within your own memory factor. 